Has this show been off the air for two years? Yes. Is the season I'm about to review nearly six years old? Yes. Does that make me extremely late to this party? I would say fashionably late because we're about to review America's Next Top Model. The reason I wanted to review this cycle, which is the America's Next Top Model fancy word for season, is because the winner is Nal DeMarco, a top-notch human and also their first ever deaf contestant. Nal is now an activist for deaf and LGBTQ plus rights. He is also an actor and a producer on a recent Netflix reality TV show called Deaf You. He also has a degree in mathematics and he won Dancing with the Stars. So... Nile DeMarco, more like Nile de Ramaka Ball. I'm a comedy genius. But as can be expected from America's Next Top Model, there's a lot of nonsense. So let's get into it. Now, basically the first thing they want you to know about this season is that there are so many hormones. I'm a healthy 23 year old guy, you know, looking for some females to talk to. Also, just in case you didn't realize that there are boys and girls in this season, all of the backgrounds for the men are in blue and all of the backgrounds for the women are in pink. So if you had thought that this season would be challenging traditional gender norms, you probably were thinking of a different show. But the second most important thing is that Niall's here. My name is Niall DeMarco. I'm a fourth generation deaf individual. I'm not concerned how to communicate with hearing people. I can read lips and if I can't, I'll have an interpreter. Can I just say that Ramon, the interpreter, his voice is perfect. I want to introduce Ramon, my interpreter for the competition. Hello everyone. It's kind of weird to think about because usually that's not the point of an interpreter, but given the context that this is in and the fact that most of the audience are going to be hearing people, it makes sense that they would need someone with a really sexy voice to pair up with Niall's sexy good looks. Can you just imagine if like Kermit the Frog's voice was on top of Niall's amazing face? I'm just your average everyday talking frog. Before I continue, I just want to talk about sign languages. Nal DeMarco speaks American Sign Language, or ASL. ASL has its own grammar and absolutely is not just English word for word, but in sign form. Just like the world doesn't have a single international spoken language, it's not the case that there's a single international sign language either. Just because somewhere you meet signs doesn't mean they sign in ASL. Also, just because someone is deaf or hard of hearing doesn't mean that they sign either. I'm not going to sign through this whole video, but I just wanted to include this part to lead by example and stress that we as hearing people should really be learning from the deaf community, we should be learning sign languages, and we should be educating ourselves about deaf issues. At the end of this video, I'll be listing a bunch of YouTube channels run by people of the deaf community that I really enjoy watching, so please stick around for that. This video, like all my videos, has closed captions, so you can go ahead and turn them on whenever you like. Thank you also to my awesome teacher, Kimmy, for helping me practice this part. So their first challenge is that they have to walk down this runway full of fake protesters and PR maven Kelly Catrone, pretty sure that's on her birth certificate, she actually seems to know some ASL spelling. So that's where you can like literally spell with your fingers. But then also there's this. I'm gonna win the hearts of America. Do you know why? Because I know sign language. I sign autographs all the time. <laughs> Now, as I said before, Niall is definitely the star of this video, but another key player, and I do mean player, is Mikey. Now, Mikey has not had an easy time growing up. 
He is the first person in his family to graduate high school, and he's also one of the first men in his family not to have been to jail. So genuine props to him. Keeping that in mind, this is the first ever thing that Tyra says to him on the show. Or something coming in here just yeah. being like, Tyra, yo, hey, uh, or whatever your name is. You just seem like you don't pay bills. No, I do. I pay, I pay my bills. No, it's just something. It just feels like, I don't know. I've actually got my first job when I was eight years old. Straight out of the gate with some classes BS. I'm going to try and interpret everything as charitably as possible. I don't think she meant anything like, you look too poor to pay bills, but I do think she meant something like, you look irresponsible with money. But even that draws on class stereotypes about what it means to look like you're good with money, so... And yeah, Mikey's really confused by this. He's like, actually, I started working when I was eight. And Tyra, who obviously knows his backstory, is then like, oh, tell us your backstory. And then she's like, go pay some bills. What? Ugh. Props to them, though, they are genuinely supportive of him and his achievements. But then in the next episode, Miss J says this. He looks like I saw him on the 6 o'clock news. Stop it, Jay. Do I like Mikey's character on this show? Absolutely not. He goes from zero to sleazy almost immediately. It seems like all he wants to do is sleep with the women in the show. And I know this because he says it six gajillion times. I'm trying to get Lacey to just <laughs> nap it up with me. <laughs> no way. I'd rather just have a female presence next to me tonight. I've been single for a couple of years now. Uh, definitely comfortable with all the women. I don't know, I feel like we got a lot of young, good girls in the house. And I am getting very sexually frustrated here. I mean, you're kind of small. Yeah, no. I just want to have a little teddy bear tonight. <laughs> hey, but listen, think about it. Best person to sleep with. We got about 50 girls you can ask. <laughs> you and my mate should, you know, get drunk. I know I'm getting drunk because, uh, that's the only way to really initiate a threesome. The more the show goes on, the more blatantly sexist stuff he says. Lacey and my mate brought a lot of crazy you know, women. Devin's just really complaining, he gets jealous, you know, almost like a female. My favorite response to him comes from Melissa. About 50 girls you can ask. <laughs> she hits him with the finger guns. <laughs> 10 out of 10 reaction. But seriously, Mikey, if you're watching this, it's been five and a half, six years. I really hope your attitudes towards women have changed. Then there's some other really exciting drama. So Mum May was in line to do her confessional, like the bit where they like tell the camera how they're feeling. Then she goes downstairs to get a drink of water. And by the time she comes back up, Stefano is in her place. I was here before you. I ran up. Obviously I not. I was the first person who ran up here when we got to the house. Why aren't you in because there right I now? went downstairs to get some food. Can I go downstairs and come back upstairs and claim my spot? That's the system that we've always been doing. No, 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 no. By the way, I am 90% sure that this Stefano guy is trolling the whole time. I wrote a little reggae rap for you all. Reggae rap? Most important, Tyra. It started out with a vision. I remember it was late at night in my kitchen. I've been told I can model and I'm extremely good looking and I know that. I'm not cocky, I'm very modest. I really do have hashtag what it takes. Watch that clip again and tell me that this man is not a plant from a sitcom trying out some new material. Also, if you've ever watched a show like this, you know that everyone sounds like a broken record. You want to know why? It's because they put the exact same clips in different contexts and hope you won't notice. I definitely have like a baby crush on Niall. Again, this Mikey is so attractive. I definitely have like a baby crush. Does she have a bebe crush on Niall or does she have a bebe crush on Mikey? Which is it? Anyway, back to Niall. Niall is the only person in the house who speaks ASL and so he's pretty socially isolated from the others. A few do try and learn some sign language, some ASL. And so Dustin and Lacey, they give it a red hot go. It's happened every time I play. I'm not sure if you are ready for college. Now taught me a lot of sign language. He's my boy, we play uh, beer pong with water. What is this? Dustin is fun, smart, and he's one of the only people to communicate with me and willing to learn sign language. And also Ma May, who came second, she seems to be trying also towards the end of the competition. Tomorrow will be just about our ideas. But three out of 14 contestants? That's not 
not a good percentage. In fact, it's so bad that the producers or whoever it is decide that Niall's prize for winning photo of the week one week is that his friend is going to come to the house and they're going to spend a whole hour with everyone in the house having to sign no English. I enjoy teaching them my language because I feel like truly if they took the time to actually communicate with me, they wouldn't think of me as disabled anymore. Start conversing. The game goes, you can't talk. Um, if you want to communicate, you have to do it in sign language. Learning sign language from Niall and Brittany is really cool, but it's so much harder than it looks. To be in that situation, you know, just for an hour, it opens your mind. Wow, you know, this is Niall's life. There was nothing easy about it. Devin does try to communicate with me, but it's still gibberish. I love you. Oh, I am getting good. I can see a lot of them, you know, kind of felt like they hit a wall. And that's how I've been feeling. Can you hear me? You only had this for one hour. This is something I deal with 24 seven. Welcome to my world. I learned a lot. Perfect. Now you understand how I feel, right? In your shoes. It makes us understand how difficult it is yeah. for you. It makes me feel like we've all been a little bit ungrateful. Now, like, he's been reading our lips. He's been working through it, and he doesn't complain about it at all. We all need to come together and be more considerate when it comes to now. If you share with me more often, it'd be a lot easier. How do you say sorry, Niall? Sorry. 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 Oh, every time I and it doesn't even work. I keep trying to communicate with them, but I'm just tired of hinting and telling them. Do you think I need to stop the whole party and say, please communicate with me? That's not something I'm gonna do. Even worse, a lot of the contestants seem really unaware how much they're excluding Niall and how reliant he is on his phone in order to even communicate with them. He like types in what he wants to say. He presses the button and it reads it out loud. There's this guy, Devon, and on Devon's birthday, he decides that he wants to take some selfies. So instead of going inside, where there is a dedicated selfie suite, he decides that instead, he's gonna take Niall's phone from him, which Niall is entirely reliant on to communicate with most of the contestants, and take selfies with it for a solid 20 minutes. I wanna take a selfie. Hey, tap Niall, see where his phone is at? What? You want his phone? Yeah. Devon takes my phone, taking selfies, and I was like, what the Now probably didn't have his phone for a good 20 minutes, and he doesn't know what people are saying, and I think that was very wrong and inconsiderate of them to do to him. Turn down for what? You're taking away my phone for your own entertainment, and you're not even talking with me? I felt like I was invisible, so I just walked out. Where did Nal go? Without my phone, I just get lost, and I feel isolated. <laughs> I try to teach them sign language, but I feel like there's nothing coming back in return. <laughs> I know this is a competition, but I'm human. I'm here. Now, this is the kind of thing that the producers very well could have told Devin to do, so I don't want to just outright blame him for this. But either way, this is unacceptable. Nile is clearly not having a good time. There is no awareness for making the space accessible. And it's infuriating. I'm so angry. Ah. However, being unable to hear his fellow contestants has its upsides. After this competition, so good luck at Miss USA. I, yes, I'm a state title holder. What are you? Sorry, you have to listen to this drama. So the fact that Nile is deaf doesn't stop him from doing amazing modeling at all, despite the fact that he has to work with hearing people. Yu Tsai, who I guess is kind of like their coach, continuously sings his praises. Nile, I love. He can't hear me, but he's the best listener. He knows how to read my expressions and deliver what I need from him. That's a good model. In fact, the only professional that has any issues is the photographer in the final shoot, who gets upset because Niall is looking at his interpreter. I feel like Niall could be a lot more successful without the interpreter. Hang on. So Niall, we want you to be in the moment and not focus with your interpreter. When you're looking at him, it's not working. Really just connect with me. Get him off, struggle with it. Take your time, hey, hey, Niall, Niall! Take your time, take your time. Being deaf might affect me in the real world, but I think I just have to work harder. That was cool, that was good. Yeah. When Niall's focused on taking photos and not looking over at his interpreter is when you get something awesome. Yeah, 
How dare he look at his interpreter when you're speaking to him and expecting him to understand? In fact, apart from that, there's only one challenge in which Niall's deafness matters, and this absolutely makes my blood boil. The challenge is to do a photo shoot in the dead of night. It's pitch black. Yutsai says one, two, three. They pose, and the camera flashes. One, two, three, hit it. It's not hitting his mark. Anyone seeing any issues with this? Anyone maybe seeing that in the first ever season where you have a person who cannot hear, you have a challenge which requires the participants to be able to hear. Even worse, Tyra actually says in the next episode that this in the middle of the night pitch black challenge was the first time they've ever done a challenge where they've removed the participants' ability to see. Given how exploitative these shows tend to be, I would be 0% surprised if they scheduled this challenge specifically to mess with Niall. Yutsai really tries his best. He tries to do like a flashlight where it flashes one, two, three, and then Niall poses. The photographer flashes and it made me blind at that time because it was too bright. Go, go. So I was looking down at the flashlight and I wasn't sure if it was the first or the third flash. Then Yutsai tries to bang on the box that he's on to try and let Niall feel the vibrations, but that doesn't work either. One, two, three, okay? I'm gonna have to find a way to communicate with him so that he can really perform well in this photo shoot. Here we go. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. You got your delayed reaction on the hit. Two, three, hit. I feel This isn't working. And you can just see Niall is so frustrated with this ableist BS. Just make the show six hours earlier. Just do it at dusk. Do Niall's part in the semi-brightness do everyone else pitch black, whatever. This is so unnecessary. So moving on from that nonsense, the next is a bit lighthearted. They do a challenge where they have to try and win $2,500 of seed money to start a small business. And they have to give a pitch to the judges. Niall has a great idea to start an ASL app that teaches people signs. And it's a really excellent idea, except that it would be too expensive so the judges don't go for it, which I think is fair. Chillax. Chillax. <laughs> <laughs> Dope. Dope money. <laughs> Nile did actually end up creating this app. It's called the ASL app. Uh, it's available on various app places. I don't know what they're called. <laughs> there's a $10 fee for extra features and I have not paid that. So there's no way I can give a full review. So just know that that exists, but this is not a review. But from first impressions, it looks pretty good. I do have one question about it though. I was looking through the photos that sort of advertise what you're going to get when you download this app. And I noticed that on the last one, it says that ASL is the third most used language. And I just want to know what this means. You cannot tell me that it goes English and Mandarin with about 1.1 billion speakers each. And then ASL with maybe like 500,000. So then I thought maybe it's the third most used sign language. But then that's not the case either. It's actually the second most used after Indo-Pakistani sign language. Then I thought maybe they meant third most used in the US. And that's not true either. It, it's Chinese, including various dialects. So then I dug a bit deeper and found that it's probably a misrepresentation of a statement by Beale in 1974, who states that ASL is the third most used language by people who require courtroom interpreting from English in the United States. So that means that ASL was specifically the third most used language in the US in the 1970s by people who need courtroom interpreting from English, which is very interesting, but I think does make this ad misleading. Anyway, it turned out that Mikey's tank tops and socks business won the judges over and he won the two and a half thousand dollars. And it does look like he actually had an Etsy website for this business from 2015 until 2016-ish from what I can work out. And it makes me laugh because from what I can tell, the Etsy website doesn't actually say anywhere that he was on America's Next Top Model or like give his actual background, but it includes the statement, I'm a regular person, just like you, with a dream. Without context, I'd be so suspicious of this. Honey. The robots that sell tank tops on Etsy are back. Do you want anything? I'm a regular person, just like you, with a dream. 
Anyway, all that doesn't really matter because Niall wins. Niall, you are America's next top model! His mum's there, she's crying. <laughs> he spikes Miss J in the throat. You're stabbing Miss J! You're stabbing Miss J! <laughs> Tyra gives this little speech about how he didn't win because he's deaf. You won America's Next Top Model because you are an amazing model. You have it. You just so happen to be deaf. But that is not why you are America's Next Top Model. You oh. kick ass. Everyone's super excited. My winning America's Next Top Model is actually a huge step to changing the world's perspective on the deaf community. This proves to me that being deaf doesn't matter. There's so many opportunities out there for the deaf community. Mama, what do you want to say? It's amazing to see his hard work has paid off and his determination. It's so inspiring to me. And believe me, he is going to give back to the community and the world. He's going to be doing that for the rest of his life. Well, congratulations again. Congratulations. You go out there and make me proud. Really winning this? I can't even describe what it means to me. I feel like this 200,000 pound weight has been lifted off my shoulders. I can't even believe this has happened, but it's real. I'm America's Next Top Model. So that's all I've got for today. Thank you for sticking with me. I really hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for your extremely warm welcome of my first ever video, the internet's questionable word origin stories. And if you haven't watched that yet, you can go watch it now. I also wanted to give a big shout out to Because Language for having me on their podcast as a result of last time's video. And I'm really grateful to have had that experience. Thank you so much. Please go check that out if you're interested. Please like, comment, subscribe. Please share this with your friends if you think they'd be interested. I really enjoy making these and I hope to do a lot more. If you're interested in ASL and deaf issues, here are some awesome channels on YouTube that I really enjoy watching myself. So please go check them out as well. They'll also be in the description along with other things that I mentioned in this video. Thanks for watching. See you next time.